Hey guys, welcome back to another plan with me. This week I'm planning from March 13th to the 19th and I'm using another printable kit from the Pink Planner Shop called Lucky Charm, which is clearly her St. Patrick's Day themed kit. And I didn't think I was going to use one this year, but I saw this art and I just really, really liked it. I just, the full boxes are beautiful. However, I did make the mistake that I always make, which is I get sucked in by the full boxes and then don't uh, pay attention to the, the color scheme of the kit. And I know that it's part of Irish um, like national colors or whatever you call it, but I am not a big fan of green, especially this like Kelly green with orange. It's probably my least favorite color combination. Um, and I still decided to just try it out and see. And then at the last minute, I decided to opt out of orange. I didn't want to use the orange full boxes, and I also wasn't going to use the glitter headers. But then I realized I wasn't going to have enough green glitter headers to use on my sidebar. And looking back, I should have done something different. But in the moment, I thought I was a genius for deciding to just do a one orange strip all the way through the center boxes. Um, it's not the worst thing I could have done, but it's a little weird looking, so I'm not totally happy with it. But this is a beautiful kit. Nothing wrong with the kit. This just wasn't for me, and I shouldn't have gotten it, but the the, the puppies and the unicorn and everything is so pretty. The full boxes are just, just so pretty, so my bad. But we're still going with it. We're still using it. Another thing is I'm sure you noticed um, that my some of my uh, labels and boxes and glitter headers are cut out and pasted onto some sticker paper and that is because this is the first kit that I attempted to print and cut and I didn't realize because the first thing I did I was so excited after I bought it was I opened up the PDFs and tried printing the kit um, not realizing that I needed to print cut files my brain, for whatever reason, thought that the cut file was just something that the program needed in order to cut the PDFs that you print. I thought they were like to, I thought you needed both. Um, live and learn. This was a learning experience. You only need to print, you print the cut files. You print the actual cut files and then you cut the cut files. It's all one thing. So um, I will soon notice that the glitter headers are the wrong size because the pdf is sized slightly smaller it wasn't small enough for me to notice when i had them both in front of me but uh putting the glitter headers down i'm able to see that they are too small so i went ahead and reprint and recut so that i would have the correct size Really quickly, another mistake that I made, um, just in case you are new to this, um, I didn't realize that if you don't select glossy paper, that the black ink will smudge and it will be the biggest mess. It will just, it, it won't stop smearing and smudging all over you and everything else until all the black ink is gone um, from the stickers. So yeah, make sure you choose glossy paper or photo paper in order to um, make sure that that doesn't happen to you. Um, I, I learned this and I don't, I don't know if you care, but, uh, the black ink and color ink are two different formulas. One is a dye and one is an ink. I think that's how it goes. And so when you select glossy paper, the black ink mixes with a little bit of the colored ink in order to help the black set. So yeah, don't do what I did. Make sure you print the cut file and make sure you choose glossy paper. Fortunately for me, before I discovered that that was my issue, I had already changed the paper to glossy just to see if there was a difference in the second kit that I printed. So luckily this was the only time I made that mistake. Um, but again, learning experience, I had no idea. As far as this week goes, um, there's definitely a lot of fast food happening. Um, uh, I don't know if you have Wawa's near you, but every once in a while they'll give you everybody who has their app um, just like a free sandwich and uh, and it glitches sometimes. I ended up with three free sandwiches and my boyfriend ended up with two. So um, 
yeah, just just a lot of Wawa going on. Um, and then also just, I don't know, I haven't been eating well at all, but this was like one of the worst weeks. I didn't overeat, but everything I ate was just garbage. So there's that, which is definitely not good for um, anything. Um, like, I, I just need to cut that out. I have been doing pretty well with my like workouts and stuff, but I think I need to ramp it up a little bit um, just because, just, just for health reasons. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think this was sort of a boring week. Yeah, which is kind of nice. Um, oh, there was a lot of uh, just crying again over my taxes, but that is to be expected. Um, and yeah, nothing really happened this week. So I guess let's get started on my boring week, starting with Monday. As per usual, it was an in-office day and I was very tired because I didn't sleep on Sunday. If you saw my last plan with me, you'll know I had night sweats and insomnia all Sunday night. So yeah, definitely struggle busing. It was also a very rainy, gross day, which was annoying because I had plans to walk to Wawa to get my free sandwiches, and I was hell-bent on walking because I was too tired to do a real workout this day, so I wanted this to be just like my walking day. Um, and uh, it was, I don't know, it was just like a mess. It really wasn't a big deal. I it all worked out in the end, but my um, plans to just get my sandwich and then get into pajamas and just be cuddly the rest of the night was a little derailed or were a little derailed just because I ended up having to drive Joe to his soccer game. Um, he was originally going to drive himself, but um, the he got a last minute text notifying him that the parking lot was closed and it was way too cold and rainy for him to ride his bike there. So I had already ordered my, my sandwich and I was grabbing my keys and jacket and umbrella to like go get it when he told me he needed a ride. So my sandwich ended up sitting there for 45 minutes in the Wawa, which is just not ideal, but I did just, I, I heated them up in the toaster oven when I got back. So it's not the end of the world. My walk was very cold and very windy and unenjoyable, but I just, I did it. I really wanted to get a walk in this day, so I did. I picked up two free sandwiches this day and Joe and I split them. So I got two different ones and we each ate half. Then we watched The Last of Us and I ended up waking up three times in the middle of the night with really bad stomach cramps. And I really, I don't think it was the sandwiches. I think it was the leftover mac and cheese I ate for lunch at work. For whatever reason, I can no longer eat Kraft mac and cheese. I'm just in like excruciating stomach pain. And I'm sad because that's that was sort of like a staple in my um, cooking routine, if you can call it cooking. So yeah, I think this is the last time I ate it and realized I, I can't eat it anymore. Moving on to Tuesday, I marked that I and I ended up sleeping on the couch just because I felt so awful that I thought I might I just wanted to be closer to the bathroom and I didn't want to keep waking up Joe every time I shot up in bed with in pain. So I slept on the couch and then I started my morning with getting my period. I decided to work at Joe's this day because my roommate was back in town so I didn't have to rush home for the cats and I just wasn't feeling well. I couldn't wake up. Um, so I just worked from his place. I did a full body workout on my break. And then we had plans to go to Blaze Pizza to get our pie day pies. They're $3.14 on March 14th. The one good thing about COVID was that for the past three years, I believe, two or two years, I should say, they have been giving you the, um, the coupon for an entire month. You get an entire month to get your $3 pizza, but because um, everything is going back to normal, so is pie day, unfortunately, and we drove to Blaze right when I was done with work, and the line was around the block. And because they only have one oven and they bake every single individual pizza, um, it, it was like a two hour line and it was so cold this day, freezing and like tornado warning winds. It was miserable outside. There was just absolutely no way. So we ended up going back to Joe's place and then trying again a few hours later, like around 8 p.m. And it was just as bad if not worse, there was just, I'm too old and too cold and too hungry to put myself through that. But because we had pizza on the mind and we were disappointed, we treated ourselves to Pizza Hut. So 
probably should have just gone home and cooked something, but did not. Got Pizza Hut. No regrets. It was delicious. And then we just watched The Bachelor and The Challenge. Moving on to Wednesday, the first thing I marked was that I had to go back to the office this day. It was heartbreaking. I won't bore you with the details, um, but I needed to print something for my boss with a date on it. And um, Monday was too early to get the appropriate date. It ended up being a complete waste because um, uh, FedEx doesn't uh, do pickups on weekends. You can't schedule a pickup for a weekend. So the date was exactly the same as it was on Monday. So I woke up extra early and came to the office for no reason. I was so annoyed because it's the last place I want to be. But um, you got to do what you got to do. And I can't be too mad about it. Luckily, Joe drove me, so I didn't have to pay for parking again, which was nice. But um, yeah, I was not happy to be there. And I also had to be there before 8 because I had to leave a package at the front desk by 8. So I clocked in at 7.40 and I, yeah, I, I left at 4.40. There was no way I was staying till 5. I did my 9 hours and left. Um, and then I decided to walk home so that Joe wouldn't have to pick me up. And I called my grandmother on my walk just, you know, to multitask. I got another free sandwich this day. And then Joe and I decided to bake an expired cake that we had just because it was expired. And we used expired eggs. It, like everything was expired, but it was fine. We ate it. And then uh, we watched The Challenge and The Last of Us. Moving on to Thursday, the first thing I marked was that I had stayed up much later than I wanted, thus I woke up much later than I wanted, and I wanted to get home to start my work day, and of course my coolant was low in my car, so I had to fill that before I could leave, and then I finally got home and started working. I did an upper body workout on my break. This is also usually my bigger cleaning day when I first get home, just because I like having everything perfect. I also cut some more stickers this day, which has been really fun. And then I just did a puzzle. Moving on to Friday, the first thing I marked was that it was my short work day. I got in some planning time, which was nice. And then I drove to New Jersey to see my grandmother because she officially moved in with my uncle and she really wanted me to see her new room set up and all that. And um, so I just went there. We hung out for a little bit for a few hours and I left around 930 and then I drove back to Philly, went to Joe's place and we watched the last of us finale. Moving on to Saturday, the first thing I marked was that I doom scrolled, which I've been much better about, but um, at the time I was still doing that first thing in the morning, which just gives me so much anxiety and makes me so sad, so I really need to stop. Um, I did a full body workout, and then I was just craving coffee for some reason, so Joe and I went on a walk to Wawa, and I got a coffee, and then on the way back to his place, we just randomly decided to stop into J. Crew. And he convinced me to try on a couple pairs of jeans because I am on a jean, I don't know, hunt, I guess. Um, haven't found anything yet, but went in there, tried on some jeans, and then we went to CVS so that I think I had to pick up my birth control this day or something. Um, and then we drove to the Whole Foods because I had an Amazon pickup because I'm just trying not to get a lot of things delivered to my apartment because everything gets stolen. Uh, then we went to my apartment to take care of the cats because my roommate was gone at this point. And then uh, he and I watched a movie called The Sadness, which is like sort of a take, another zombie movie, you know, version of a zombie movie. It was okay. It wasn't great. It's honestly the type of movie where like, if the movie's not going to be good, you have to go all out on the gore. And I feel like they sort of like cheaped out on some shots where they like, suggest things are happening but it's like you gotta show me you know so it was okay moving on to Sunday luckily this morning I was less of a dumb bitch and decided to read instead of scroll I was very proud of myself for that um but that was it uh, <laughs> for my morning and then I was like I have to do my taxes so I started my taxes and finished them this day luckily there was a lot of tax drama there were a lot of tears um but basically all I can say is I hate H&R Block. We'll never attempt to use them again. Um, 
I just did free tax USA and this time it worked. It deducted my estimated tax payments from what I owed. So what I owed was much, much lower. And it was like, it was like, like hundreds compared to thousands. I was a nervous wreck that all of the money I had paid already, like wasn't going to be accounted for, but it was, and it was such a nice relief to get that over with and to not pay that much. Then uh, we went to the mall because I had quite a few random returns to do. And then we also stopped at Dick's Sporting Goods Outlet because Joe was on the hunt for some soccer cleats. Then we went to Walmart because I had to get like cat litter and yogurt, I think, like just the staples of my life. Um, We went back to my place again to take care of the cats. And uh, we ended up not eating dinner until 930, which wasn't ideal deal um but you know shit happens it's fine and then we watched bachelor in paradise and uh, i was up all night again because it's sunday and i cannot sleep on sundays for whatever reason so yeah but that's everything for this week definitely a more just mundane week not a lot happened the most exciting thing i did all week was go see my grandmother so yeah um But yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.